Today I want to show you a quick and easy way to edit your photos for Etsy or any other online shop using the free version of Canva and I'm also going to show you an additional trick if you want to edit your background separately from your product you can do that with Canva Premium and I'm going to show you how to do that today as well. So let's get into this video. Before we do, my name is Jess Van Dan. I've been successfully selling on Etsy since 2008. I've been full time with my own handmade business, Ethereal, since 2010. And I've edited a lot of photos in my time. And I try to keep it as simple as possible so that we have a beautiful photo because photos are so, so important when it comes to successfully selling on Etsy and elsewhere online. So so it's really important you do an excellent job with your photos but you don't need fancy expensive software in order to edit your photos well i'm going to show you some tricks and tips about what to look for when it comes to editing your photos today and i'm going to show you that extra tip about how to separate out your product from the background and edit them separately and then you can even put them back together so you don't have to do that weird white fake background thing all right let's do it okay so here we are i have logged into canva now I have the pro version of Canva, so you might see a few things and you actually need the pro version of Canva to do the fancy background trick, but for all the rest of it, you can just use the free version of Canva. I'll put a link to Canva below in the description if you want to find out more about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit a photo with Canva. So you can just click on create a design here and then edit a photo and it will bring up your computer. And you can go through and go, mm, okay, so let's find a photo I need to edit. Okay, so we're going to edit this photo here. I've made a copy of it because I'm going to do a separate edit where I separate out the background from the product in this one here. So we're going to click on this and we're going to edit the image. Click here. We've got adjust, see all, and now it's brought up all the adjustment sliders. So the first thing you want to do is stay away from the brightness and contrast sliders to start with. They are a last resort. They're too, they're too broad. They do too much. You want to start with the details more. So what we want to look at here are some of these ones, warmth, clarity, vibrance, highlights, and shadows are the great ones to start with. So clarity kind of sharpens things up. You can see that there, how it's sharpening up the detail. Vibrance is going to increase the sort of colors of it without upping the saturation so you can see it's increased the colors but it hasn't upped the saturation and then the next thing we want to do is look at the highlights this is where i usually start and i start to bring up the highlights and then i might bring up the shadows a bit too and play around with that now this one's quite a dark picture so at this point i'm like okay i'm going to bring up the clarity somewhat and i'm going to bring up the vibrance just a little bit and now I'm going to start bringing up the brightness because so I don't want to overdo it. What I'll do, if I bring up the brightness too far, see how it washes out the product itself because it is silver. It's tricky to edit with jewelry like glass and silver and stuff because it's shiny. So you can't go too far with this. So I'm only going to bring it up to about here. And then that's where I would again fiddle around with this. So I might bring my highlights down a little bit, bring up my brightness a little bit more. Now I want to bring up my contrast slightly see how that it kind of gets rid of that overblown look and it makes it a bit more it pop a little bit more off the screen and then i'm going to bring up my clarity a little bit more my vibrance i'm going to play around with that i don't want to bring my vibrance up too much because i don't want to bring too much color into this so i'm going to keep that pretty low actually now saturation it just makes things way too saturated so we're going to leave that alone and warmth now this is a really important slider if you have images that are too warm or too cool this is how you fix it so you can bring the, the kind of the warmth down or you can bring the warmth up depending on if you've gotten a really good white balance or not in your initial picture so i'm going to bring mine up just a touch and then i'm going to play around with highlights a little bit more so you can see I have to be careful with this because if I bring my highlights up too high, it just blows out the shine on the ring a little bit much. So I'm going to, I'm going to blow it out a little bit because I want it to be quite nice. And then of course, from here, you can also crop it in. So that would be another thing you can do to improve the picture. Now, again, remember, this is going to look different on different people's monitors and you want it to kind of err on the side of 
brightness rather than the side of darkness because basically the smaller it is then the darker it's going to seem so you want to make sure to when you save this so that's the original image okay this is what we've we've done to it at this point now I've gone for quite a, a kind of hyper realistic look here I could bring my, my um, clarity down a little bit if I wanted to soften it up a bit see how that sort of sharpens everything so we want if we want to soften things we bring it down a little bit but you can see how much brighter and more vibrant that is compared to that so then you could crop this I would for my shop I would actually crop it in so that it's more cropped in on the ring itself and boom you can just click share download and then you save the image there so that's as easy as that and you it's really easy to play around with all of those sliders on here just remember you want to keep it as true to life as possible while also making it sort of pop and be bright coming off the screen so the next thing you can do if you have the pro version is you can edit the background separately from the foreground now in this case I have a ring on a hand so when I use the background remover it's going to remove the um, the hand itself whereas if I had the product alone it would just focus on the product as well so I'm going to make another copy of this we're going to then edit this image we're going to click on the background remover and so the benefit of this is that you can edit the foreground separately from the background so if I click on edit image now and click on the adjustments so we're going to bring the brightness up we're going to bring the vibrance up a little bit we're going to bring the clarity up a little bit the highlights shadows we're going to bring those down a little bring that up a little bit more bring the contrast up a little bit without going too crazy and okay cool so now that we've done that what I can do is I can copy this and I can paste it on the top of here and look at that <laughs> so it's actually we've got the the hand is edited separately to the background all right so if you wanted to leave your background darker you can do that or if you need to edit the background separately because if you bring the whole image up then it blows out your product then this is a really awesome thing you can do okay so you can see how this makes it look a little bit fake so if you want to edit the background image as well let's just delete that one and you want to right click on this edited version click detach image from background so we're going to paste that on there and this is the tricky part where you like <laughs> you have to you know play around with the sizing until it covers the product or the image exactly so that can take a little bit of work right to get that so that takes a bit of finesse if you want to do that but you can do it okay sometimes it'll do this weird thing where it kind of gets rid of the background but then you can just press the back button to bring it back I don't know why it does that anyway there we go so now we've got it edited separately to the background which again you can brighten up the background or dull down the background separate to the foreground and it just means you can have a little bit more uh, play and ability to mess around let me quickly show you another one so I'm going to show you one where it's just the product by itself on the background let's pick this one hopefully that's all right let's just pick that picture make a copy of it all right so we're going to edit the image background remover apply that attach image from the background so I can put another copy of the image on here all right so adjust it and again we can adjust this separately bring up the highlights but not too far bring up the contrast a little bit the shadow the vibrance and the clarity and then how are we going to do with our shadows we might take them down a little bit highlights a little bit more okay cool so that's done so then copy this all right so pasted that on there and you can see that I've sort of brought up the background separately 
And then again, you have to do that fancy thing where you like put it over the top of the product you already have on there, which again can take some fancy finessing to get it just right. All right, that looks pretty good. And then there we go. So that's this product edited separately to the background, but then put back on its background. And I would probably actually edit this background because it's quite dark. And I would bring that up really bright actually. But you can see if I brought the product up that amount of brightness, see it's way overblown. But now I can put that back on there. And you've got it kind of popping out a little bit better from the background. So that is a nice little trick that you can use if you have Canva Pro to edit your product photos. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you did. And also let me know if you're going to try the fancy separated background editing trick that I showed you in today's video. If you'd like more about how to take a really good photo, then go check out this video here. I've got some tips for you there about how to improve your product photography in the first place so you have better photos from the get-go. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos on how to have a thriving and profitable handmade business. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.